Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Risk of Rain 2 modded. We are jumping in again. This time we are jumping in as another modded character, the Cadet. This is one that I haven't tried before, but seems pretty interesting. We have the Bullet Storm for firing lasers and we have to reload after a certain amount. Plan B to fire a grenade, repelling roll to roll and reload, and then Plan A which is to fire a heavy burst of pellets. Seems pretty good. Of course we are jumping in again on Eclipse mode. This is just Eclipse 1 monsoon difficulty, so just starting each stage with 50% HP. But I'm interested to see how this goes. It's seems that this is our little um, reload or ammo bar to the right here. Yes, it is. Ooh, that seems pretty good. That seems pretty good indeed. We can get uh, equipment right off the bat here. So yeah, then we reload. And if we do this, when we re when we roll. Ooh, I like this little like, weird arm thing we've got on us there. Is that used by any of our skills at the moment? I'm not sure. Okay, so that's more close range, definitely. And then... Oh, that grenade's really, really good. I expected it to be like a really close range grenade, but that thing can be... That can be thing, thing can be thrown at quite the distance. Also, we can get a good bit of height off of our roll here, which I like. But some characters have rolls that, like, they don't go up much. They just kind of go straight forward. I prefer ones that go up a little bit. Give you a bit of verticality so you can climb things a little easier. But yeah, we'll grab an equipment straight away here. And honestly, that's actually pretty good. Nice, nice, nice. Armor plate. I'm actually going to go and buy this next so I get another armor plate. Because armor plating early on is insanely good. Oh, I completely missed that guy then. But I think having flight on this guy might actually end up being really, really good, you know. Yes, yeah, so we grab that. And that'll turn to another armor plate. Which is really, really nice for us. Reducing damage taken by 10 early on is good because I mean a lot of the damage will be like only a little bit higher than 10 Like I'm pretty sure wisps will do like almost no damage to us now, which is kind of amazing That grenade is really good. I mean the stunning effects on it's really nice as well Boom <laughs> that shotgun ability is great. Oh this, this, this character just feels very very smooth. Hey, and we get a rune band as well. I like that. I definitely need some movement speed though, because although the roll does have a bit of verticality, it doesn't really satisfy my need for speed. And I do have quite the need, quite the need for speed. I don't remember how um, how this, this ability works. On the next equipment use, okay. Like, do I just get the wings permanently, or do I get them for 45 seconds? Okay, no, you, you only get them for like 30 seconds, I see. Permanently would have been a bit crazy, to be honest. I just wasn't quite sure. I wasn't quite sure. The instantly reloading thing seems like decent, but honestly, the reload's pretty quick. I don't think I need it that much. That's really good. 20% damage to bosses. Certainly nothing to turn our nerves apart. And we've got a Shrine of the Mountain there. Shrine of the Mountain's a little bit risky here. Ooh, we have a Scrapper over there as well. Good. good. Yeah, Shrine of the Mountain's like, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that right now. Oh my god. Managed to wreck that guy. The grenade though. The damage isn't crazy. But it's just so easy to use. I very much like that. We've got a 3D printer over there. Remember, we've got a scrapper as well, so we can make use of that if it's anything good. Good, good. Elite's taken down. This is a good start so far. we got our essence there. And, ooh, leeching seed is incredible for us right now. Because it actually has percent-based healing and we have fast fire rate. That is a buff that... Um, has been added by one of the mods that I use. Because normally, Leeching Seed is really, really bad um, on certain characters. This character actually would benefit uh, nicely from normal Leeching Seed, but... There's a lot of characters. What on earth is this? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Is that from my grenade or something? Yeah, it is. It's from my grenade. The effect gets, like, left over. Oh my god, the grenade goes so much further than I anticipate every time. So, chop over there. Gasoline's decent here. I don't mind that at all. Right. Come on, we've got a lot of active items available here. A lot and a lot of active items. 
Um, so one second, just a minute. So we've got our ignite effect here, it ignites all enemies, and then we've got this here. Ignites, freezes, and stuns have a 9% chance to cause the other effects for 50% base damage. That seems really good if we can stack a few of those. Obviously 9% is like pretty low, but I think if we can stack a few of them... Oh, I forgot I my wings anymore. My bad. Oh, we've got an invisible chest here. A little bit cheaty that we can see it, but I'm not going to complain right now. Oh my god, we got a fucking symbiotic scorpion as well. That's a pretty good um, one to get, especially with fast fire it. Still don't really know what the base armor of most enemies is, though, which is, like, slightly problematic. Right, I love the fact that you can keep jumping while you're in there. Uh, while you got your wings enabled to move a bit faster. I'm gonna do this. And I reckon I'll open this chest over here. There's a 3D printer here as well. Bison steak is actually a bit better now, so it might be worthwhile. Top art held permanently for every utility item. Really not very good now, but later in the game, that could be very, very useful for giving us a good amount of hit, extra HP, so I probably want to keep that. I probably want to keep that in tow. Right, I'm going to use my chrysalis here and uh, open this up. I'm going to do the Halcyon Shrine as well. I think I can do it. Shouldn't be too hard. I'm honestly tempted by the Shrine of the Mountain now with the stuff we've got, but at the same time, I don't want to die. But we are killing stuff extremely fast. We have a lot of uh, protect damage protection, really. And a good amount of healing, actually. This is a very, very good Eclipse Stage 1, to be honest. There we go. Once we get that armor reduced, things die pretty goddamn quick. We, we heal up pretty goddamn fast as well. But even better as our maximum HP goes up, which is another reason to have that item that uses utility to increase our max HP. Because it's percent based healing, so maximum H high maximum HP is very, very good for us. Is that it? No, no, it's not. We got a few more yet. Get out of here, you. I think we're done here. Are we done here? I can never tell if the enemy's spawning are from the shrine or not. Either way, I'm gonna pray and see what happens here. Got a bunch of guys stealing my gold. You see how, like, these guys are hitting me and they're doing, like, basically no damage? That's too armor playing doing that for me. These cows are, uh, problematic. That one's got such little armor, though. Buddy, it's taking a beating, my god. Is that it? Have we done it? No? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's just up top is all. Uh, bandolier. Um, I'm going to go with Rose Buckler for the armor here. Oh, I can take multiple from this? Okay, I guess I'll go with Bandolier as well then. Is Bandolier any better in this mode? Bandolier is kind of meh. Eh, it's, it's, it's still decent. Right, I'm going to go do the Shrine of the Mountain here because I, I, I think I've think i got this in the bag. I will also check what the other active is in case it's better than this. Jade Elephant, it's good for defense, but it's only five seconds, and I feel like it's, I feel like it's pretty hard to use. I'd rather have this for the utility. We've got a chance shrine over there. We're taking quite a long time on the stage here, but it's not too bad. Is it just the stone titan we've got here? Oh, there's a beetle queen there as well. I, I, how did I miss that? Honestly, take out the stone titan first. I feel like stone titan's the biggest threat. But that laser 
does not do much damage to us with armor plating. Like, at all. I thought it would do a lot, lot more. Oh my god, there's a lot of healing fellas here. There's so much going on, but... This is really nice with the, uh... The ignite chance. And if we can get a few more stacks of that one that does the, the ignite plus freeze plus stun thing, that could be really interesting for us. Oh, we got ourselves Queen Gland, which is actually really good. And then we got a really good item here, which is Smart Shopper, right? I think it's called. No, no, we got to flip. Okay, that's actually pretty good too. Uh, plus 25% healing on crit heals based on our crit chance, which is not super high, but we can get it higher up. There is a lot going on over there right now. I just want to use the Chan Shrine. I don't know why you've decided to fucking take over the Chan Shrine. Edible glue. It's probably okay, actually, for us right now. I don't... I'm, I'm not... I don't know. I'm, how interested am I in the scrapper right now? It was just over here, right? I think I'm going to scrap a few things. I'll scrap the edible glue. It's not that good. Um, I'm going to scrap that as well. And I'm going to scrap that as well. Because they're all items that can break. And I don't care for items that can break, really. But I'm going to keep everything else right now. Good, good. We are aware. This has been... This is... So far, we've got some really good stuff going on. It's a bit of a mismatch. We've got... But we got a lot of items from the first stage, and a lot of them that are actually helping us out a significant amount, which I really like. Chest straight off the bat, and... Oh, I thought it was an enemy. No, it's just this guy. It's just our best bud. Our best pal. Excuse me, good sir. That was uh, a bit rude. I need to land before this uh, runs out. The fire... I'm, I'm really interested to see what we can do if we get like more fire rate built up. Because I feel like that could be pretty wild. Yeah, no armor for you, thank you. There's a, a lot of elites at the minute. Where did we spawn? There was a chest right next to where we spawned. There it is. I want to kind of work my way from my origin point all the way around, kind of. Shipping request form is not bad. I just got to remember that I have it and actually try and find the shipping request thing. Cool. Let's grab this bad boy. I'm going to use the Chrysalis whenever I can because it's just movement speed for us right now. That's really good. More armor. We have a lot of defense and a good amount of healing right now. Topaz Brooch I don't really care for. So As I've said before, Topaz Brooch is one of those ones where it's like, if you get like four or five stacks of it, it's kind of amazing. But until then, it's not very good. Which kind of makes me just want to scrap it until I find like a 3D printer for it sort of thing. It's a bit hard to stack items in this modded setup that we've got going on, so... I think it's worth considering that sort of stuff. Beautiful. Bandolier, I'm not quite sure about at the moment. Aeroplane? Not... Actually, yes, aeroplane's really good with this right now. Got a damage chest over here. Okay, we've got a lot of chests around here. We've got to actually wait for some enemies to appear. Where you at, enemies? This guy's doing a great job of just killing him anyways there. Got a decent amount of debuffs on enemies already. Twelve percent reach for melee attack, seven percent range. Yeah, that's not very good for us right now. That, that, that's definitely in the scrapper. I feel like for melee characters, that's pretty good, but for other characters, the regular weapon effect of range is just like not super relevant. I don't find myself needing range very much in this game. I'm gonna take random here and see what I get. Hey, get armor, dude. We have a lot of armor right now. Yay, more gasoline as well. We like it. The gasoline AoE that we're getting right now is very, very nice. 
Right, where haven't we checked so far? We, I teleported down that way, so I'll, I'll, I'll loop back around that way. So far, I'm going to go this way, I think. The extra movement speed while in the air, I'm pretty sure it's working while we're in this, which is really nice. The Chan Shrine there, but I like to leave Chan Shrines for the end of the stage, because I think, like, obviously being able to buy stuff guaranteed is a bit better. Dude, this glass harvesting scythe thing just keeps coming to me. I do not need it. <laughs> Ooh, that's interesting. Because that's stun chance, which would work well with our 9% uh, chance to do the other effects when we stun. Um, and it means our, our hard-hitting hits do 25% extra damage. Cool. Right. I might come back to that 3D printer, I'll see. For now, let's make our way over towards the teleporter, I think. I'm pretty sure there was a 3D printer shop. Not 3D printer, sorry. A try shop, whatever they're called down here. Yes, there is. What we got? Rusted key? Ah. I'm going to go for random again. Warped echo? Very much do not care for. Do we have a scrap of the stage is the question. Ooh, dude, our defense is wild right now. We have so much in terms of defense. More attack speed there. As long as we have our shield up, which is most of the time. We had another Shrine of the Mountain somewhere, didn't we? I'm going to have to go up and see if I can see it. There it is. I'm going to activate the Shrine of the Mountain first, because I, th I think I've got this in the bag with the amount of defense that I've got. I'm also going to start doing this now. Although, actually, let's, let's just buy a turret. Why not? Apparently, like, only certain stages can spawn turrets. I didn't know that. And this is one of them. Okay. It is Le Boss time. Beetle Queen and a Vagrant. And a Stone Titan. Okay, we got all three. Take care of this guy first, because he's going to be the most annoying. Probably not the hardest, just definitely the most annoying. Staying off the ground helps. Dude, that, that guy died quick. Wow. As soon as you get that armor down, they, they, they really die very, very quickly. Managed to dodge that. Yeah, 43 damage per shot there. So, to start with, we're doing 26. Then 27, 28. It just, the damage just keeps climbing, look. The armor really makes a difference. What did we get? Genesis loop, and I don't know what the green we got was. Deploy two option seeds. Option seeds copy the wielder's attacks for 20% of the damage dealt. Is that what's happening here? I don't see that happening right now. I don't really see that happening. Oh, what the hell is that over there? Blaze of Glory. I actually don't like Blaze of Glory. It's strong, but it's visually just horrific. So I'm not going to take it. It blinds me every time it goes off. It's the one where the jellyfish like explode on the boss. Like, every time you take off 20% of a boss's HP bar, it spawns a jellyfish that just nukes it. But it's fairly strong. It does a good amount of damage, but my god, visually, it's horrible. Yeah, so it says that these little orb things are mimicking my attacks, but I, I, that's not what I'm seeing happen. I've got this counter here as well. Five, four, three, two, ready. Oh, uh, that's my active. Oh, that's good to know. Uh, pa yeah, I'll take that. 10% on our purchases back. I like that. Hello, good sir. You have more armor, but I have a thing that reduces more armor, so... Get wrecked. Trying 
Try tip, I like it. Quickly scout this area. There you go, don't want to miss out on stuff like that. I definitely need a scrapper. I've got a lot of stuff I'm not too into right now. Some stuff that if I had a build going for it, I'd be delighted to have, but I do not. Do you want to chill out, my guy? I shotgun you at point blank range. I'll take that for now. I think this is another item that could be super, super good if you get, like, multiple stacks of it. Right, active's almost ready. How come I didn't get a countdown this time for my active? What was that about last time? Almost knocked myself off the edge there with a the knockback from the shotgun. That's kind of funny. Right. Much going on here. We've got a big chest here. Oh my god, what the hell? Gain shield equal to 60% of your maximum health. If it exceeds shield, the XX damage is negated. It has a cooldown of 5 seconds. Okay, that seems really, really good, actually. Basically, that gives us, like, a lot of one-shot protection. Just by having a bit of shield. So we, we, we are kind of in a shield build at the moment. Because that, that makes it. That is a defining factor of a shield build right there. Right, back over here. Thank God I have this chrysalis, otherwise I would be very slow most of the time here. Mostly say mimic will mimic random items that we have. Our 3D printer here is... Could I, could I just go for a bunch of mostly say mimics? That would be kind of interesting. I guess if I got rid of a lot of white items, I could like be purposely mimicking certain items, which would be kind of useful. If I, get, if I scrap of this floor, I might do that, to be honest. I might get rid of, like, most of my white items apart from, like, three. I just have mostly say Mimic, just, like, t um, mimicking everything. I think that'd be pretty, pretty fun. But it relies on us having a scrap at this stage, which, unfortunately, I'm not seeing thus far. There is one little trick you can do uh, with one of the mods that I have. Ooh, hello. While benefiting from five buffs, um, all stats are increased by 20% for five seconds. Um, I don't know when we're benefiting from five buffs. I don't know if that's now or not. Yeah, basically, one of the things we can do here is... I mean, for one, we can get a nice little photo mode of this guy. Although, he's kind of looking a bit funky. I mean, one, one thing I can do to alleviate that funkiness is I can go inventory and I can drop a few things if I go drop on that legendary that I just picked up whatever the hell that was where is that boom and then I also drop my wiring wait wait, wait. hold up and then inventory wiring and then I can get rid of the shield effect and get an actually good photo of this guy. He's looking pretty goddamn cool. <laughs> I need to remember to get their thumbnail photos. Wait, where's my spare wires go? Oh, I got him back good. Right, back over here we go. Yeah, unfortunately, I think we're, we're pretty out of luck for a scrapper. Strange can's pretty good. I really want to do the mostly same mimic strat, but I just don't think it's going to work without a way to choose which whites I get rid of, because otherwise it's going to get rid of some whites that I really enjoy, isn't it? What's that over there? Oh, that's just my grenade. A little puff of smoke that we saw before. Another chest down there, and then we'll do the teleporter boss, I think. Gimme, gimme, gimme. So it looks like we're benefiting from four buffs at the moment. Oh, yes. So we need one more buff. Grove Tender and a clear Dune Strider. Not too bad. We don't have great movement speed, so I'm a little wary, but as you can see, we don't take a lot of damage right now. 
But yeah, basically, I couldn't I couldn't take the uh, thingy uh, 3D printer for the tame mimic in case we lost our armor plating. Our armor plating is one of the things that's keeping us alive right now. Good. And we get a little disciple, which with our movement speed isn't great, but it'll do. Right, quick, quick, quick. There's a chance shrine over there. Let's go and welly it. Get what we can out of it, then come back. There you go. That's something at least. There's some chests over there as well, but that's a bit far away, to be honest. Especially because we've only got 30% left here. Yeah, I really want some movement speed built in right now. Is that a chest that I missed? It is. How did I miss that? That's lovely. We like the attack speed there and the movement speed, as I was just saying. Okay, I think we're ready to move on to the next stage here. This is a pretty hodgepodge build. Like, we've not really got anything super cohesive, but everything's working well towards actually giving us a decent run. There's like four or five things that I'd definitely get rid of and try and trade for something else. Oh, dude. There's a thingy right there as well. I would have loved that. <laughs> I should have gone and looked for that. I always forget that that's back there. Right, how much is the legendary chest? Legendary chest is 4,700. We've got a, a ways to go to get that. I hear you over here. There you are. Yeah, you can barely damage me with that laser, my guy. My armor is blocking everything you do. A hundred stacks of reduced armor. Already at 500. Get getting to 4,700 is still going to take a while, though. I'm not looking forward to building that up. But a free legendary, I said free. A legendary is a legendary. In the meantime, oh, movement speed there. Okay. Please let there be a scrapper here. Okay, this guy is the guy that killed us last time. We've got to be really careful with his attacks. Just keep moving. In fact, this makes this a lot easier, right? But yeah, Paul's goat huffing the 3D printer there. We would really benefit very much so from uh, a scrapper. Oh, and that's an energy drink as well. Dude, we have so much movement speed on the uh, 3D printers here. Please. Please let us scrap. That fall was pretty bad. Please let us scrap. I know we're not going to have one because I want one so bad. That's just the way of the world, isn't it? That's just how it's got to be. I really need the movement speed, but... There's, so, there's some of, like, I've got so much stuff, and there's, most of it's kind of crap, but there's some things I just do not want to gamble. Oh, that's very nice. That's a bit of movement speed. And attack speed. Some chests up here. Need to check the very top up there. I'm trying to get, like, a bird's eye view right now to see if I can see anything I've missed. Unfortunately, it's not looking like it. Yeah, I need to check up on that bit there. Ooh, we have a Void Cradle. I haven't seen one of them all run. It's kind of surprising. Nah, we don't want the Benthic Bloom. That that could ruin our build. Benthic Bloom, um, each stage you upgrade one of your pieces of gear to the next rarity, which is really good because it makes all your gear like much rarer. But at the same time, it also makes it so that you uh, end up losing a lot of your build-defining items and stuff, which obviously we don't want. Which uh, which one is that? So we've got Super Leech there, and we've got Brainstalks. Ooh, three Brainstalks during the boss fight is kind of interesting. Okay, we're getting there. We're about a thousand and something off. Sadly, though, yeah. I, I, I mean, 
with the sprint speed one, I might, I might do a few gambles and hope for the best. Hope I don't lose anything too essential. Okay, I have, I have three scrap here, so I can do three scrap at least. I didn't even, I didn't even realize I still had three scrap. I'll be honest. Okay, that's probably fine then. I, I literally did not realize I had three scrap. So you guys probably shouting at me like, tell what are you talking about? Okay, this makes our life so much easier. Didn't mean to do that. My bad. This shield, this legendary shield item is insane. Let's just go over it again. Um, if an attack exceeds your active shield, the damage is negated. Yeah, we're just like negating a bunch of damage. Oh, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. I'm getting a few hitches on the stage for some reason. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Mostly seems fine, but just every now and again, a little hitch here and there. Right, we've got to be there now, right? Seems about right. 4,600 it was, I think. 4,700. We got it. And we get Blood Dice. On kill, permanently gain 2 to 12 uh, max HP up to 550. That's not amazing, considering there's another legendary that just straight up gives you 500 max HP. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible either. It's kind of like a nice to have rather than just going to change the world sort of thing for us. Take care of you. Big chest. On kill permanently increase HP regen up to a max of 5. That's really good too. I like that. And that becomes a mocker. Yes, it could have become so many things. A mocker's a good one for it to pick. Hmm. Print shop here. Don't know what to go for. I might go for the random, to be honest. Or the intoxication thing. The intoxication thing's pretty decent. Yeah, let's go for the intoxication can. Or strange can, whatever it's called. It's called strange can, right? Yeah, strange can. Right, we've got our last few chests over here. I think we're just going to go, actually, to be fair. Is there another big chest? Oh, there is There is one of these. We'll, we'll at least get that. ATG is probably the way to go here, right? ATG's fun. Get out of here, snake boy. I think that's pretty good for us. Right, boss time. Magma worms. Is this just two magma worms? Yes, it is. Kind of rare that we get two of the same boss with the mod that I've got on, but here we are. The flight was nice while I had it, but now I come crashing towards the earth. I do like the fact that it doesn't just drop you out the sky, though. Yeah, to just kind of hover for a bit. Take out this healing buddy. He's being annoying. There you go. Boss is done. And we get another soul ring. Dude, the soul ring? Really, really nice. That up to 5 HP regen is really, really good. It's like two cautious slugs almost. That's just like regen all the time rather than out of danger. Which I think is pretty rad. Still hoping for that scrapper though. The missile launcher. I am tempted by it. I assure you I am tempted by it. Curse an enemy. Ah, we don't really care about that. It's all about getting gold. We got enough gold. Okie dokie. We are ready to go. 
No blue portal this time. No blue portal. Just keep moving then. This character is pretty good. <laughs> I'm liking him a lot. I mean, this this build we've got going on right now, even if it is a bit hodgepodge, the defense we have right now is is really really good. Good old Sky Meta. Right. Let's make our way. Okay, so I was just about to say make our way up so we can see the teleporter. There it is already. We see it instantly. But yeah, we, we can, in theory, just use Furter Mode to, like, dive around the stage and see if we can find a Scrapper. It's a bit cheaty, but it pauses the game. <laughs> so it's kind of like, mm, maybe, but at the minute. Oh, we do have one. Okay, nice. Cool. Okay, right. We can head over this way straight away and try and utilize that a little bit. So let's have a little look-see here. Um, flashbang, don't care about. Um, that, I don't care about. That, I just don't even know if it's doing anything. That, I don't care about. That, I don't care about. That, I don't care about. Picking up a lot of items in one go does just tend to lag the game a little bit. Hello, Chimera boy. Where did you come from? Unfortunately, not getting much time to utilize the uh, the old scrapper right now because there is a billion enemies spawning near me. Oh wow, that is a, a big boy. Hover on down. Yeah, this guy, if he hits us, is going to do a lot of damage. No, I'm falling. I'm going to slowly fall for so long here. <laughs> this is going to be so sad. <laughs> I might even actually get my chrysalis back, you know, by the time I fall. Haha, <laughs> no way. <laughs> That was unexpected. Right. Just quickly take a little look. Is there much more I want to scrap? Um, for my green items... T -t 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 bison steak I can probably scrap. And the rest of it I'm pretty happy with. And then green items... I think I'm pretty happy with my green items, to be honest. I don't know why that's just one times one rather than just two. There's like two more things I want to scrap, basically. What does that do? Ah, we don't really care for that. The bison steak. Topaz brooch. I think that's it, right? All the enemies have got to be right on top of me, don't they? you got to mess up my game here. Just trying to scrap things. Leave me be. Um, Surpass Baruch. And what was the other thing that I wanted to scrap? I can't remember now. There was one other thing, right? We can probably scrap debit card at this point. Du, 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 du. Yeah, I think it's just debit card right now. And maybe shipping request form. I'm not using that very much. Where the hell's the debit card? Ah, actually, that's 20% rebit. I like that. Okay. Teleporters above us. Let's start buying stuff and then we'll go do that. Medkit's pretty good. I like that. Regenerative scrap. Ignition tank, thank you. Ignition tank is very, very good now. That urchin's pretty good too. I'm pretty sure it's something to do with shield, right? Yeah, enemies get shocked. That's pretty intriguing for us. 
Oh, there's another scrapper over here. Hello. I guess good to know. You're in a bit of a weird spot where we've got a proper weird mis mismatch of random stuff, but it's, they're all kind of working together in a decent way. More bandolier. That I could probably get rid of. Oh damn it, I have money. I thought I had loads of money. It's pretty easy to build back up right now. Rose buckle is really nice. Oh, Rose Buckle gives you base armor now. That's nice. Striking bleeding enemies reduces their armor. Dude, we are the armor reducing king right now. You shall not be near us and have armor. It shall not be. Right, I think we're good to go. Let's just go back to that scrapper that was um, at the teleporter and quickly utilize that to get rid of a few of the things we just picked up. Infusion's decent, I'll keep that. Actually, is Infusion that good for us right now? I don't really think it is. So, do Infusion. That one. Yeah, I'll just go with them too. Right, boss time. There it is. I was wondering where the hell it had gone. Well, there's my shipping request form. I can do that after the boss though. Right, th we got a Colossus and this guy, which is scary. Colossus, we gotta stay behind, otherwise we die. This guy, I'm probably gonna take him out first, to be honest. He's a bit weaker health-wise, and he is a bit more agile and able to hit me. The amount of damage we're able to rip off him is pretty nice, to be fair. We're not stacking bleed very quickly, but it is nice to have it. We are reducing armor pretty quickly, though. Well, that was kind of rude, wasn't it? I don't know who he's looking at. Is he just looking at my turret at the minute? Yeah, I think he is. I don't mind that. Whoa, what on earth happened there? Right, quickly go over here. There's something to do with this stage that seems to have an issue. Milk I don't care for. That's not great. I'm just going to quickly scrap it. I'm actually going to scrap that as well. I don't care for that item either really that much. I love the way when you when you kill that dude, you just kind of, his head's just spike into the ground. Well, I'm pretty much ready for the boss now. Chill out, you. A guy is looking certified badass, by the way. Look, look at this glowing mass. Certified badass. <laughs> right. We've got a bunch of scrap to use as well when we get down there. Which is good. Oh, uh, the one times one thing is... I think it's like a, a bug from uh, the, the Tim Mimic. It seems to be anything that is copied has an issue. Right. Much we want to grab here. We do have enough for a legendary with our scrap, so let's hope there's a good legendary um, in here. Um, store 100% of healing as soul energy. After soul energy reaches 10% of maximum HP, fire a skull. It's not bad. And Gorm's term as well. I guess I'll just grab that. Why not? And then shape glass. I'm really tempted by shape glass. I'm pretty sure I can drop it if I take it. I'm just gonna try something. Okay, it does reduce my shield by half as well. I'm gonna go for it. Why not? It's a big risk, but hey her. It's a very big risk, but basically I was hoping my shield amount would stay very similar, but it does also half your shield amount, which honestly makes a lot of sense. Wait. Oh, wait. Did we accidentally change to looping? I didn't mean to do this. Or was it just because I went through the, um, 
Luna portal. That was very much my bad. At least we're doing good damage. Right, where's the teleporter at? It's up there. Oh, we can. It's, all of them are primordial teleporters now. That's good. I don't know if that's a mod that's changed that or what, but that's useful to know. Which actually means I should probably always do a few extra stages, really. I thought I'd have to go back through a full loop. Ooh, a bit of tougher times, don't mind that. Mockers. So if I go to here... Then we'll just do it. Blazing Wandering Vagrant and you. Not too bad. The Blazing Wandering Vagrant's a bit scary. Oh, and a grandparent as well. Ah, it's sucking me in. It's sucking me towards the wall. Stop. I need that leg uh, that elite, uh, elite green item. Oh my god. I need that green item that allows me to recharge shield on damaging enemies. That would be very useful right now. I don't know why the run's getting so laggy, to be honest. I mean, I know that obviously runs do tend to get laggy when you've got a lot of items on modded. But I have, like, lost the scaling on, so it shouldn't be affecting me too badly. I think it's just because the FPS is jumping so much. Right. While this charges, let's go and, like, fish around for some other chests. Wanna see if I can get a damaging um, thingy item. Super massive leech. It's good for health leeching, but I don't think we need that right now. Got two chests here. Both pretty good stuff. Not 3D print uh, 3D printer, uh, three shop here. None of these are very good to be honest. We've got a scrapper there. Let's go and use the scrapper to get rid of uh, that last item. Cool. Oh, where we go? I just had the teleporter go. We're good to escape. Let's go. Okay. We've got the boss to attempt here. Let's give him a go see how we do against him. I honestly don't know how we're going to fare, really. Unfortunately, we do not have good movement speed here, so we are going to have to run the whole way. One of the absolute most stupid things about this boss fight, in my opinion, is the fact that they just give you this absolutely gigantic arena with almost nothing to fight the entire way to the boss. It's just so anti-risk of rain. Like, th the entire game is just like those... Those creatures and things to fight literally everywhere. And then when you get to the boss, it's just like, meh, no, we're just gonna we're just gonna chill for now. Nothing's gonna fight you. Apart from like a random one of those every now and again. And that's kind of it. It's weird. My beetle's doing things over there. I don't remember which part is the uh, the one where we can trade in our scrap, but I'm gonna go have a look. Luckily, we do have this movement speed boost that we can use here, but it's not perfect. I think it's this area over here that does the, uh, the scrap. Oh, no, it's that one. It's that one, definitely. Oh, no, it is this one. Right, what we got going on over here? Uh, dealing damage with 3% chance to freeze enemies, you deal 90% bonus damage to freezing enemies. Killing enemies surrounding you in an ice storm, slows enemies. It's not very good. That's not very good. Mocha here is... What? What? One red item for a Mocha? It must give you like five or something like that. There's no way it just gives you one Mocha. That'd be terrible. Sail star. Oh my god. It's too late. Sail star. It's too late. 
Okay, dude, this was terrible. I, I, I've got so much scrap to play around with. And this, this is, this is what you reward me with. A bunch of items that I can't do anything with. That's kind of upsetting. Okay, well, I guess we skip that then. Dude, um, why have I got even less maximum HP now? What happened? Oh my god, no. Oh, there you go. A lot of it just came back. I'm not quite sure why I didn't have that for a minute there. Let's go the, do these ones over here because they're very, very quick. They do damage you, but I reckon I can do it. We'll see. Yeah, this does like barely any damage to me. This is fine. Try to make sure not to get hit by all the stuff while I'm doing it. I.e. the fire these guys drop when they die. Gasoline, nice. My turret, no. Don't kill him. Oh my god, the amount of fire these guys drop on the floor is insane. Yeah, let's take out these dudes before we uh, do any more of these. I think, I think we've only got to do three for it to uh, let us out. Even though there is four here. Okay, stay away from those guys. Good, good. More crit glass is good. Right, do we have a new beam? Okay, no, I don't think we do. I think we are going to have to do the last one. Which again is fine. We can do it. The health damage isn't that much. Try to not get hit by other stuff in the meantime as well. Fleece hoodie. Next buff you receive is 40% longer duration. Okay, there we go. We've activated it now. Leave these guys behind. I mean, I, I technically, I probably could have just flown up there, but eh, we got some items out of it. Oh, wait. <laughs> Having flight enabled makes this not work. I'm stupid. Right, boss fight time. Let's go. Yeah, I probably could have just flown up here. I kind of forget that you can skip the entire uh, pillar section if you want to, if you have the ability to jump high enough or whatever. With enough movement speed, enough jump height, flight, whatever. Right, let's see how this goes. The, the ship glass pickup is definitely my most risky pickup here. I think that could uh, that could spell trouble. Oh my god. We've definitely got some item that's, that's clearly flooring up some errors in the game. Because normally I don't like nearly as much as this. It's kind of nice to be able to stay in the air away from him right now. Can't do much to the flying man. Okay. We are obviously absolutely decimating his armor as well, which is another thing to remember. We're doing more and more damage to him. Ooh, good hit. But remember, he can't do more than my armor in in one single hit. Which makes it very, very hard for him to kill us, especially if our armor regens before the next hit. You saw that there? I'm really happy I took uh, I like kept this flight the entire way through the game. Ended up being really nice. Okay, good. First phase is done. And these guys should be very, very easy. Especially with the stacking armor debuff. I like the way that like if we bleed them it just adds 30 straight up. So it like really, really speeds up the process of destroying that armor. We are nearly done. I forget you got to kill all these dudes as well. What the hell's that thing? Is that just like part of one of those machines? Okay, cool. We're done. This is the scary phase.
Probably shouldn't be flying for this phase, to be honest. The movement speed is too low. Although, if I fly just above the ground, movement speed's actually a lot higher. I just gotta make sure to be jumping constantly to get that speed boost. I don't know how much damage that would do. I've never really been hit by that. Oh my god. The pizza attack while I'm in midair is a bit cheeky. I never really know how to move for this attack. I seem to be doing okay right now. Take you out first. I think we should be okay here, you know. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Why have I lost so much max HP? Oh, dude. My mostly tame mimic keeps at randomly doubling my fucking shape glass. Which is giving us way more damage but lowering our HP. That's so funny. I didn't even think about that. Okay, right. Now, gotta make sure we're running the right direction here. Let him steal some of our items. We get to keep my beetle guard, apparently, who drops an item. Weird. Oh, he's got shaped glass. This is really nice for moving, maneuvering around him. Whoa. I think I got him. Yeah, I got him. That was kind of scary for a minute there. Which I think we, we lagged because we got all of our items back like instantly, which the game was not prepared for. That worked really, really well. Get in this portal here. That's another thing as well. I do kind of wish that this last phase didn't exist. I kind of wish that once you'd beat the boss, it just ends the run. Because this bit's like, I wouldn't say it's super easy. There is a, you, you can die during this. It's not like it's just like a free win, but it's like, I've already killed the boss. Don't make me do more. <laughs> That's why I've never been a massive fan of Mithrix. But I think, like, now I've gotten used to him, he's not so bad. Oh, of course you're going to trap me. That attack is so annoying. Ah, you're closer. It's probably you that's doing it. There's a lot of them, actually. It's kind of funny that only spawns Void Reavers in this bit instead of, like, the other Void enemies as well, or, like, just regular enemies that have been Void Corrupted. You'd think it would. 52%. Spawns you. There's a lot of them, though. A lot of Void Reavers. Can Void Reavers, like, explosions hurt each other? I don't think it can, can it? That would make no sense, but... I don't know. I feel like, it, I feel like maybe it can. There you go. I think we've got this in the bag now. Oh, wait. No, that... I think that did kill them all. Why we? There you go, baby. We did it. Let's get in the... Get in the pl uh, plane? Ship? Yeah, ship. Either way. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a very, very fun um, little eclipse run with this character. I really enjoyed him. The cadet. And I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one.